All right, hello, Year 7. Uh, I've gone into Onshape um, and I've logged in. And if you haven't done so already, you need to go and watch the sign up and set up video. And also, it's very handy to watch the commands and controls to learn a little bit about the program. And uh, we're actually going to start drawing our pencil box. We're going to draw it in parts. And it's going to be a little bit like how we build it in the classroom. Uh, we get all our parts prepared and then we join it together. And that's what we will do in the classroom. So let's cre create and we're going to create a document. Document name, we'll simply call it Pencil Box. And click OK. Give it a second and it will load up your workspace. So, like I mentioned before, uh, tools across the top. This area here is our workspace. We've got the view cube. Don't forget, we can get back to our original view by clicking here. Uh, we've got our timeline down here, which at the moment is nothing. So, let's begin, and you should things will start to appear here. But we always start off with a sketch. So sketch button is usually up in the top left, so we'll click that. It's asking us here to select a sketch plane. And uh, we are going to choose the, uh, the top plane. And at the moment it looks a bit busy, so we can actually turn off uh, some of these plane markers and all we should see is that. The other thing we're going to do is just uh, to help our view is we're going to look down directly on top. So if you remember we use the top plane so if I click the top of the view cube I will look down on top. I've still got my origin point there I can actually turn that off too. That gives us a nice clean page we're, in, we're inside the sketch and that's obvious because we've got this dialogue here. So we need to leave that open. So don't cancel that or click that. Uh, leave it open. And across the top, we're going to look for the rectangle tool. The corner rectangle will be fine. So click on that to select. Now something uh, pretty important with a lot of CAD programs is how you draw your rectangles, how you draw your shapes. You might be used to using programs where you click, hold the button down and drag, then let go of the button to finish your shape. That will appear to work in this program, but it can actually cause problems later on. So the best thing to do is you click once, just a single click, and now if we move our cursor out, so I'm not holding the, uh, the, the left click button down, I'm not holding any buttons down, and we can unmove this. We can see some sizes there on the screen. For now we're not concerned about the size, but to finish that rectangle you click again. The, the rectangle is complete now. And uh, we've got our sizes written in there. So we're going to look across the top for the dimension tool. It looks like that. If you hover your mouse over the tools, it'll tell you their names. So dimension tool, we're going to click that once. I'm trying to remember sizes off the top of my head. So if it's a little bit different to what we do in class, don't be too concerned. But I clicked once on that long edge. Now I move my cursor up. So remember, it's not a drag. Click once, click again. And now it's highlighted that size and on the keyboard so without clicking anything I can just go to the keyboard and type the size that I want which is 205. I'll press enter it will adjust the rectangle to suit that size. Dimension tool is still selected it's highlighted blue. Now we're going to click on the short dimension click once move the cursor click again it's highlighted so now I'll go to the keyboard and type 12 and press enter. We have completed that sketch. 
so we can click the tick button there. Uh, to make viewing a little bit easier, we're going to go back to a trimetric view. And I'm just going to zoom it backwards a bit so it fits a little bit better on the screen. Now we're looking for the next toolbar. So at the moment, that's a two-dimensional um, shape. We actually want to draw in three dimensions here. So to do that, we need to extrude. So we're looking along the top toolbars for the extrude. E-X-T-R-U-D-E. -E. Uh, once you've done that, we're going to click that button. We get a dialog, and it's asking us here in the dialog, what faces or sketch regions do you want to extrude? So that should be highlighted blue. That means we can go over here and we can click our sketch. Notice that all the edges go orange when I'm hovering in the right place. So make sure it's orange and click. That's extruding to a size of 25 millimeters. We can drag, but it's actually really hard to drag to the exact size that we want. You are better off clicking so it highlights in the depth box here. And we're actually going to change that to 67, which is what we're doing in the classroom. And press Enter. It'll preview that size for us. It should be selected on the new. And we are good. And now we can tick. So we can see our timeline now. We've got a sketch. We've got an extrude. So if you remember from uh, the classroom, uh, your piece of timber had a groove cut in it. So, and it came to you supplied like that. But in this program, we're going to have to draw our own uh, groove in there. And to do that, we're going to go back to the sketch. Again, it's going to ask us what plane do we want to sketch on. This time, we want to sketch on this face. So I don't know whether you can see it on my screen, but it's highlighted orange around here. And click. It'll select that plane. Again, it would be good to view this face on. So depending which way you've drawn this, uh, click on the view, clue, view cube. So you're viewing it front on, on that big rectangle. If you click the wrong edge of the view cube, well, just fiddle around until you find the right one. And that's what we want. I'm going to zoom backwards again so we can see it a bit better. And we're going to go to the rectangle tool again. So you'll find that in the top toolbar. Click once on the rectangle tool. And we're actually going to draw a rectangle. So I haven't clicked anything yet, but I'm going to draw a rectangle that touches this short edge and touches this short edge. Don't worry about the size for now. One thing to be aware of before you click anything, if, notice as I hover on this edge, when I get to the middle of the edge, I get that little square that indicates the midpoint. We definitely don't want our, our rectangle that we draw to touch that midpoint or else things will kind of go wrong for you. But up close to the top edge, click once, move your cursor, hover over the other edge, it'll turn orange and click on the other edge. That drew our rectangle. Now we need to set its size. Do you remember? It's the dimension tool. So there's two dimensions that we're going to adjust here. So click once on the dimension tool, hover over the long edge of the existing rectangle, click once. Now hover over the long edge of the new rectangle, Click again, and we get this little dimension here. And so move that over to the side so it's, you know, it cleans your view up or keeps your view clean. And click, and we're going to set this to uh, 4 millimeters. Press Enter. The other dimension we're going to do is from this long edge to this long edge. So we're still selected. So click once on that one. Click once, ignore what comes up there, that doesn't matter. Uh, click an, again on that second long edge, 
and we get the dimension between the two. Click again, and this time it's three. Press enter. So we get a long skinny rectangle that's four millimeters down from the top and three millimeters thick. It's important that you get the edges of that rectangle touching the other edges. If it doesn't, it's not going to look right later. Um, and what you can, well, what you should do is use the undo and go back and try again. Anyway, I'm going to go back to the normal view. And, well, that sketch, that, that sketch is finished, so we can tick. We're looking for the extrude button again. Now that new rectangle is a little bit hard to see, but it's there. And we want to hover our mouse so that, that new only that new rectangle is selected. If I move the cursor to the wrong place, it'll it'll find the rectangle above it. We don't want that. It'll find a rectangle below it. We don't want that. We actually want that skinny rectangle. So if you do happen to click the wrong thing, you can deselect here and try again. So for instance, if you clicked in the wrong area, deselect. It's got to be that middle one. So at the moment, it's trying to add that new shape to the old shape. We don't want that. We're actually going to remove something. So click Remove. And we're going to set the depth uh, to 5 millimeters. So press Enter. It'll preview, and it should be going in. If it's not, if it's not previewing correctly, you could be that you need to click this opposite direction button. So if it comes up red, that means it's actually not removing anything, which is not right. So click that opposite button and tick. Now you might recognize that's what our piece of timber looked like when I gave it to you. It's at the right size. It's got the groove in it. And that's all for this video. The next video, I'm gonna, uh, we're going to do the rebates like we did in the classroom. I know this video was long, but I'm kind of going slowly to get you guys familiar with this program. So we'll see you in the next video.